The beliefs and stories that we hold are not the result of an independent choice by the neoliberal separate self choosing from the marketplace of ideas. Belief is a collective function. So in order to maintain a belief, you need people around you to echo that belief back at you, to amplify that belief, because we're not separate. We are not separate individuals. We are the totality of relationships. So yeah, the echo chamber effect can operate both ways. If you are surrounded by people who reinforce the belief system that you grew up in, the belief system that maybe has become limiting for you, then that's, that's going to hold you there. And if you want to practice a tender, young, new set of beliefs, you're going to need help because so much of the environment will be pulling you back into the dominant thoughts and beliefs of our culture. And it's really hard to maintain it by yourself. You know, you have a realization, you go to a transformational workshop or something, or you have like a mind-blowing experience. You go to, a, I don't know, you take psychedelics at some festival or something, and you're like, oh, I get it now. It's all about love. It's all, it's all one or whatever realization you have or think you have. And then you go back to the routines and the relationships that you came from. And all of those things pull you back into the thoughts and beliefs that you came from. So when you have these experiences that invite, invite you into a, a new um, state of being, like, yeah, if you're like me, you're going to need other people to hold that belief, to hold you there. Because if, it's, if you're like me, you're going to start doubting. You're going to start, start vacillating. I'm not some, you know, genius or some special being from another planet who like is coming with the new knowledge or anything like that. Um, I'm basically an antenna and a mouthpiece for a worldview, for a story, for this, this being that is emerging all over the place. And, you know, it needs hands, it needs feet, it needs a brain, it needs a mouth. Like, you know, that's, there's many, many, like all of us are being enrolled in the birth of a more beautiful world. So I'm only able to do what I do because I'm so held and so supported. And every time when I have that moment where I'm just about to give it up, where I'm just like, yeah, maybe I'm wrong about everything. Like I have those moments a lot where I just doubt everything that I've been saying and maybe I'm just full of shit. And maybe I'm going out and making these speeches and I'm just giving people an emotional high that makes their pathetic complicity in the status quo all the more tolerable because they had this moment of, of hope. Like, yeah, I have like these doubts all the time and I don't know. I am totally capable of deluding myself into thinking that I'm doing some great thing. Meanwhile, just maintaining the edifice of my own vanity. I'm just as capable as anyone else of doing that. So what I rely on are people who I trust to speak back to me the things that I'm saying to them to, and to say it in different ways and to confirm that I'm not crazy, to hold this reality collectively. I cannot hold it myself. The, the age of the guru is over. The age of one person holding a reality that everyone else can then step into. <laughs> like we've seen in recent times what, what, that, what that does. You know, they end up stepping into a reality that serves him. I don't trust myself to, to, to do that. And I'm glad I don't have to do that. Because right now we have like the, the, the consciousness that maybe once upon a time 
reposed in these gurus now is is it's spread out it's popping up everywhere the the, the time of the wisdom lineages to become no longer secret but to become universal that's here so i'll say like yeah it's important to have relationships and community to hold us in the emerging story of interbeing because we still live we still live among systems institutions that are through and through expressions of the story of separation especially the money system but not only so we need a countervailing force that can hold us in a new culture of belief and then of practice too. We're really in it together. And that means perhaps for you, once you take that in, it might signal the end of a time of loneliness where it seemed like you were the only one and where you had to exert tremendous effort of will to maintain your beliefs and to, to not just give up thinking that you're crazy and that it's impossible. Like you maybe held that for a long time and I honor you if you did. And I honor the earlier generations that did that without so much community and support. But those times are changing and the time of loneliness may be coming to an end where you no longer have to hold it on your own, where there are others who hold it even more strongly than you do, except when they don't. And then you can hold it for them. That's how it works. When I cannot hold it, when I'm too weak, someone else can be strong for me. This is, this is how I operate. To the extent that I inhabit a story of interbeing, it's because, um, because I'm held there. It's because it's, it's been given to me. Yeah. It's not an accomplishment. And everybody who takes that next step, and it's not like anybody, I mean, there's no one I've met who is even 51% in that story. Although I've met like some indigenous people maybe, but, but you know, the programming is so deep. So it's not like anyone is fully in it, but to the extent that, that we're taking a next step into it and everybody takes a unique next step depending on the particular corner of the story of separation that they came from like the particular complement and configuration of wounds and traumas that we've received like everybody comes from like a slightly different place and is and is forging a slightly different path back toward interbeing toward reunion every time that you take that step anytime anyone takes that step then yeah that is also the building of a morphic field so even if you're not somebody who's my confidant or my tutor or my my mentor who's like directly <laughs> holding me there when i'm just like a mess even if you're not that even if I never meet you, everything that you do, your private struggles, your, your, your secret choices that come from love, that come from compassion, that come from, from what is it like to be you, everything that you do from that place also strengthens my ability to stay in that place. That's how we serve each other. It's not only through explicit communities, although those are important, but you can trust that everything you do is contributing to that field. When you do it from that field and in service to that field, it will have an impact. And that's what I mean when I say we are all in this together.